Welcome to Noonday Prayer for Wednesday, August 11th, and this is the Feast of Claire of Assisi. She was the abbess at Assisi, who died in 1253. Our Noonday Prayer service starts on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions, give alms, make purses for yourselves that do not wear out an unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the feast of Claire of Assisi, who uh, was the daughter of a count and uh, always drawn to prayer throughout her life. And at age 15, her father had promised her a marriage which she refused. And then at age 17, she heard St. Francis preaching in Assisi. And she was so drawn in by his renunciation of wealth and his embrace of poverty as a place of joy and peace that she decided to do the same. And at 18, uh, left home. Uh, she then founded a convent in San Damiano and, uh, and then became the abbess there eventually. And Claire was uh, mystically bound to Christ. Her order maintained a deep renunciation of, uh, of wealth and, and, and embraced fully poverty. They wore no shoes, ate no meat, and depended upon the kindness of strangers. And they, and they uh, rarely spoke. It was a order of contemplation, of prayer, and of dependence. And, uh, and Claire lived her life, and her writings are remarkable in their sense of union and unity with, with God uh, in so many ways. Today's meditation focuses on her final sentences for the end of her life, where she uh, comes, she has been ill for 27 years at the end of her life, and she struggled with poor health at the late end of her life. And, and, uh, and so, but at the end, she still says, her final words are, my Lord, I thank you for having made me. My Lord, I thank you for having created me. So today I just invite you to hey, take some time and let that be a sentence of gratitude for you, for life, for this life. And please ignore the the mowers around me and the blowers and the disruptions of peace that come and find a deeper place of peace in your center as you engage with those distractions. Uh, 
My Lord, I thank you for having created me. Just invite you to say that on your heart as you take a brief minute to meditate on that. My God, I thank you for having created me. My God, I thank you for having created me. Just invite you to turn over to God everything about your life where you find yourself not being able to say thank you. Instead, turn it around. Give it back. Open it up. Dare to claim all of your life as gift. The challenges, the points where you feel you can't go on, the places of deep beauty, the points of great joy. Open your heart to it all. Stand back from it as you would with God and look upon it. And turn your heart back to the one who created you. That you are marvelously made. As Psalm 131 says. You are marvelously made. Excuse me, Psalm 139. I thank you, Lord, for having created me. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Take that wonder that thanksgiving in your center. Open your heart to the mystery of it all. Who are you really? Who are those around you? How are we made? What a wonder we are. I thank you, God, for having created me. Let that be a prayer on your heart today. In face of whatever you are struggling with or you're rejoicing in, let it be a point of prayer. And see how it changes your day. I thank you, God, for having created me. Carry it with you. And you'll need nothing. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. O God, whose blessed Son became poor, that we, through his poverty, might be rich. Deliver us from inor an inordinate love of this world, that we, inspired by the devotion of your servant Claire, may serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Just invite your prayers at this time. For Christine having eye surgery today. For all those who are struggling through this pandemic in one way or another. For turning our challenges into points of, of prayers of still of thanksgiving in some way that open us up to possibility.
for all teachers and students for our country in a time of division open our hearts to each other help us always to care we pray for our planet and our dependence on fossil fuel as the primary driver for the warming that is going on and the dangerous fragility of our planet at this time. We ask your help in, in turning away and finding new ways to live. give thanks to the life of Frank Gamboa, who was celebrated this week. Give thanks to the life of Elaine Strickland, who will be, whose life will be celebrated on Sunday afternoon. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds strong in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those you love and pray for, now and always. Amen.